Okay, guys. In a chilling revelation, the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom, USCIRF, has unveiled its 2024 annual report exposing the grim truth of religious extremist violence in Nigeria throughout 2023. Hundreds of citizens, predominantly Christians, fell victim to ruthless attacks orchestrated by religious extremists. What's more alarming is the complicity of the Nigerian government, both at the federal and the state levels, in tolerating these heinous acts of violence. The report paints a harrowing picture of the pervasive negligence exhibited by the Nigerian authorities in addressing the root, the root causes of these atrocities. It highlights how the government has failed to identify and hold accountable the perpetrators responsible for the senseless killings and underlying motivations during these brutal assaults on Christian communities. The religions most severely impacted by this wave of violence include Borunu, Kano, Kaduna, Klatu, Adamawa, and Benue. Shockingly, a staggering number of 8,222 Christian deaths in Nigeria in 2023 were attributed to violent insurgents, groups, armed gangs, and even government forces, as reviewed by a report from the Nigerian non governmental organization InterSociety. The atrocities details in the report are chilling. In Benue State alone, 414 individuals from predominantly Christian areas were br brutally murdered, with another 100 suffering from injuries, rape or abduction. Similarly, violent gangs claimed the lives of 450 Christians in three uh, northeastern states between May and June 2023. The USCIRF report condemns the Nigerian government's alleged response to, the, to these atrocities. Government officials were often slow to acknowledge and act upon reports of impending attacks as it baiting the suffering of victims and their communities. The report also shed light on the alarming rise in attacks targeting religious leaders, further underscoring the gravity of the situation. The stories of those who lost their lives in these brutal attacks serves as a, a stark reminder of the urgent need for decisive actions. From the killing of Father Isaac, Achi in Mina, Daosis to the uh, tragic loss of Pastor Dominic Dajo and his wife in Benue State. The list of victims continues to grow. Furthermore, the report exposed the government's failure to address blasphemy related violence with individuals facing imprisonment and persecution. For alleged blasphemy offenses, the implementation of Sharia's legal framework in 12 states further compares the plight of religious minorities perpetrating a circle of intolerance and violence. As the international community grapples with the horrors unfolding in Nigeria, the, this organization reports serves as a crayon call for urgent intervention. It is imperative for the Nigerian government to acknowledge its role in perpetrating religious extremism and take concrete steps to protect its citizens' fundamental rights to freedom of religion or belief. In the face of such grave injustice, silence is not an option. The world must unite in condemning these atrocities and stand in solidarity with the victims. 
and survivors of religious extremism in Nigeria. Only through consented action can we hope to bring an end to the circle of violence and pave the way for a further uh, where all citizens can live free from fear and persecution. Hmm. Well, these people, these things happen every now and then. <laughs> when it happens, the Nigerian government will say it is it's shocking. You know, they will send their hard threats, whatever, to the victim's family. Believe in me, it ends there. You get. When it happens again, they send another shocking message. How they feel about it. And it also ends there. You get. If this government want to end all this, they have to take a proactive, you know, action against these people. They have to. They just have to. Enough is enough. You get enough is enough. Something has to be done. And Nigerian Christians are really, really suffering. You understand? They are really suffering in the hands of these people. So the government have to, you know, take a proactive action against these people. Well, I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comment below in the comment section. If you're just joining us, please subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.